Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another hair installation video and today I'm featuring Nadula hair. So they sent me this pre-coloured body wave wig and guys, I'm so excited to try out this wig. It's just a beautiful colour you'll see once it's installed. I did co-wash the hair before I put it on my head. So I co-wash the hair because coloured hair tends to be a bit frizzy. I don't want that issue so i just co-washed it for like an hour and then i applied it onto my head so the first thing i do as always is i cut out my air tabs and to do that i just take a comb and carve around my ear and i cut the parting that i make So this lace is a transparent lace and I just went in with my Lancome foundation in the shade number 12 to tint it. I don't really use lace tint, I just use my foundation. So I cut my lace into three sections and from the middle to the sides. So in the middle I just cut along with scissors in zigzag motion. I like to use scissors because I feel like I have more control than if I was to use a razor. I'm just gonna cut all across the hairline. I did, I was worried about the lace because obviously transparent lace is better on lighter skin tones and the lace was all right. Like once I put my foundation on, it was actually fine. I thought it would be a lot more whiter. Usually colored wigs lace aren't great, but this lace is quite, it's quite manageable. Let's just say that. I did go in and pluck further just so it's not as dense. Even though I did pluck off camera, I did go back in. Once it's on your head, you have an idea of how you want it to lay. So I went back in and plucked again. To hold this wig down, I'm going to use the Eben Active Wonder Lace Bond Adhesive Spray. I spray on two layers, spread out with my finger, and then I use my comb and my blow dryer to melt the lace into my skin. Then I go over my elastic band and I secure the wig as tight as I can. So moving on to the styling process, I'm going to take Chi Silk Infusion Serum and I'm going to apply that to the hair before I blow dry and straighten the hair. So in terms of the actual hair, like I said, um, when I first got out of the box, it wasn't too bad but it was a bit frizzy and I feel like once I co-washed the hair, it 
gave it a bit more luster, a bit more um, silkiness to it. So I would advise if you are to get a wig, this wig or any coloured wig, co-wash the hair so that you get it to its maximum potential. So yeah, make sure you co-wash the hair so that it locks in all the moisture. Okay, so now that I've finished straightening the hair, I'm just going to go and remove the elastic band and start hot combing the hair down. This is just going to make sure the wig lays as flat as possible. And then once I section out my edges, I take my wax stick and hot comb further. So here are the edges that I will be creating. I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut it roughly around my eyebrow. And then I'm gonna curl them with my mini straightener and then hold them down with some got to be um, gel, the black one. I'm going to lay that lace back down and I'm going to move on to cutting the layers in the wig. So when it comes to cutting layers, I am no pro. I'm a beginner. <laughs> I'm just winging it. But I feel like with practice, I will get there. But um, I'm very much a beginner. So I just cut diagonally down and then I give it a nice straight across chop at the bottom. That I feel like it just gives the hair a bit more volume and it looks a lot thicker once the hair is like, like a blunt cut at the bottom. I'm going to try and mimic that on the other side. It's hard to cut the other way uh, on my head because it's it just, I'm quite with my other hand. Yeah, so once that's done, I'm just going to take my straightener and I'm going to like, kind of like curl the bottom, just bump it a little bit so it's curved in.
and yeah this is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really really liked this wig i really really love this wig actually this might be my favorite colored wig this year um i just didn't expect it to look as good as it does i don't think i really have any cons about the hair any significant cons about the hair the hair is really really nice um the parting space isn't the widest but it's like you can work with it it's really manageable the lace as you can see did blend well pretty well into my skin and overall yeah it's, it's a good wig if you're looking for a nice colored wig ginger dark red that type of vibe then this is definitely a wig that i would recommend thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in my next one stay blessed stay safe and stay prayed up